For Dylan Underwood, football had always been a passion of his, just like that of many other kids in Doddridge County and the rest of the nation for that. He's taken the gridiron from second grade in Pee Wees up to present day in varsity. The only difference between he and the rest of the kids on the field, well, you can see for yourself, he was born with just one arm. But that hasn't hindered him from playing or even starting at defensive end for the Bulldogs. He's just like anyone else on the team. I mean, he's earned his spot. He's a great athlete. He's, uh, he's on the school record four by one team. He's really fast. And, and this year he's playing defensive end. He's, he's worked real hard to learn the position and it's came up big for us. I was born like this, so I never had two hands and then went back to one. So I always felt as if I was just a part of everyday society. And even at times I'll think about it at night that I don't really see other kids with one hand. So I, I don't think I'm weird, different, but then you look around and you kind of notice, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty odd. But no, I mean, I just go about my everyday business as I think I normally should, but it may look different from other people. Too often, first impressions can get the better of any individual, and that, in a way, plays into Underwood's advantage. He hopes his opponents view him in a disposition. The work he puts in makes it all the more fulfilling when he's making a difference in the game. Everyone has to put in their time, you know. You just got the coaches tell you what to do, and you got to honestly, you got to think about it. You got to change what you want to do to be the best player you can be. It's more of a mental game than a physical game, really. He has high expectations for himself, and he doesn't make any excuses. Um, he, he works hard, uh, and he, you don't even you know, realize that uh, you know, he, he doesn't have an arm. He's, he's just, he works so hard. Again, he, he expects himself to do well, and um, we don't even notice it. While others are weightlifting in the offseason, Underwood turns to the track to stay in shape. His speed helped DCHS place third in last year's state meet in the 4x100 that set the school record. His attitude lightens the hearts of those around him, but by no means is he seen playing time on Friday nights out of pity or, or favoritism. His stripes have all been earned. It's amazing what he does, um, and he's not just on the field again because we like the kid. He's on there because he deserves to be on there. He's earned that spot. And, and every time he does something, we're like, you know, that's awesome because you know, he's, over, he's overcame some obstacles in his life and, and uh, he's going to be successful, obviously. You put in your time like everyone else. I don't think it has to do with my disabilities. I think it just goes more with skill than anything else. I mean, yeah, I had to sit the bench my freshman, sophomore guy, play a little bit of special teams, and then my junior year, I'm finally starting to see defense and offense more.